Hello everyone, I'm sorry for the delay. Today we are going to cut across ARSD college and bring up the actual student reality. I will take you through all the pros, all the cons of studying in this college and then I will tell you what kind of ambitions this college actually supports and we are going to take a close look and the honest and practical approach of looking at this college. At the same time it will be upon you to decide if this college is right for you and think that if this college could really support your own ambitions because what is actually right for someone else might not be right for you. Let's start with the overview of the entire college. ARSD College is currently the fastest growing college of entire Delhi University. It has received the most number of international awards and have conducted the most number of webinars or seminars for a student. Also recently, it has been pushing in massive amount of resources just to make sure that the students here gets the right kind of exposure. Plus, this college have received major rankings by all the major national ranking frameworks of this country. NIRF ranked this college 13th this year and have even ranked it 5th position in this entire country. Plus, it has received an international award for being the best managed college in entire world. And that's certainly a great statistics. But then, this college, even though it has got the quantity, the quality has failed miserably. For now, I just need you to realize that the negative aspects of this college are just as strong as the positive ones. Plus, this college have done a very good job of being transparent in the internet but at the same time have cleverly hidden a few things as well. I had to interview a lot of people, 14 students plus 4 alumni who have grabbed the highest package from this college to get a clear picture and I am actually shooting this video for the fourth time today because every time a new thing will come up and I felt it necessary to give you the complete picture and this review is going to be the most practical and the most accurate picture of this college that you will ever see on the internet. Let us start with the good aspects first. Number one, the societies. This college have been giving in massive amount of resources to the societies of the college and actually this has led to a lot of good exposure for the students. This is the only college where I could say that the students are actually getting the kind of exposure that they deserve. Plus this college have got a business incubator cell and this was the first college in Delhi University to have ever get, got this. What is business incubator cell? Well, this is a cell which actually helps you raise a business and gives you office space, practically everything that you need to start a business will be provided to you. The second advantage here is the infrastructure. This college is the most secured college in entire Delhi University. It has got a lot of CCTV cameras installed at every corner of the college. They, the library is a decent place to be in. The auditorium is great and the classrooms are really well ventilated and in some of the classrooms there are ACs as well and overall the entire infrastructure is worth the price that you are paying plus the iconic gate is it will make you feel like this is a five star complex and in a lot of ways this is the third advantage here is the student culture that this college have recently been able to come up with for example, every single year whenever you will walk in, for example, you are a fresher and you are walking through the gates, you will find the seniors of second year or third year standing at the gates for you, ready to help you in any way that they can. They will answer your questions, they will guide you through without trying to sell you anything in return. And this is because of the strong rules against all of these things. These things are completely banned in this college and the college have taken special attention to make sure that every year there are people who actually makes you feel at home. The fourth advantage here are the faculties. 
and this is something that I really love about its college. The professors have a very career oriented approach. By the, that means by the end of your third year, you will have a very clear idea guided by the professors of what your future actually looks like and how you can improve it and move ahead in your career. And it doesn't matter even if you are studying just Hindi honors, they will make you that you have a very clear picture of your career and the things that you can do after studying this course. And except for one or two professors in every department, you will find that every single one of them is really interesting plus their teaching style is very unique. The fifth advantage here are the opportunities that this college actually provides to a student and plus the students of entire Delhi University. For example, since the last two years, this college has been holding intensive fairs for everyone out there where more than 76 to 100 companies come and you get to choose which internship you like to take, what you will not like to take. So it's like giving the power in the hands of the students and that is a very great initiative because no other DU college actually even consider doing something like this. Plus, if you have seen the Sri Venkati Swara college review, you might have a very good idea about how good the campus around the colleges actually is because this college is situated just by the side of Sri Venkati Swara and there are many in MNCs, many major companies situated nearby which you can approach for placements or for internships. So here, there is no shortage of opportunities whatsoever. The sixth advantage here is the crowd. And trust me, as someone who has seen both the North Campus crowd and the South Campus crowd as well, I can say that this college crowd have got much more better exposure and much more opportunities because colleges like Sri Venkateswar, Aryabhatta, DCAC and JMC, Metri, all of these are situated very nearby. So there is no shortage of exposure, but instead there are more opportunities here than North Campus area. The seventh advantage is the transparency that this college has shown to everyone out there. It has actually led by example because no other college actually saw that there is something negative going on with the progress. But this college clearly have indicated everything out there in the public domain. If something is not working for them or it is going into negative, they have shown it to be negative. They have been very frank about it. Plus, this college is the only one to be active all over the internet. It. it has a YouTube channel, it has an Instagram channel, it has a Facebook channel, it has got everything up and running and this is possibly the only Delhi University college to be doing this. Now some basic things to consider before we move on to the negative aspects of this college. Number one, the cost of living around the area is same as the Venkateswara. The PGs cost around 8,000 rupees to 12,000 rupees per month with as low as 6,000 rupees per month and as high as 42,000 rupees per month. The fees of this college is between 10,000 rupees to 13,000 rupees depending upon your course. But at the same time, if you are taking up computer science, it will cost you around 52,500 rupees. So that is expensive. Plus, this college have provided the most number of basic facilities to a student and in those terms is giving you amazing experience. Now let us move to the negative aspect and here I want you all to listen very closely and if you have come this far, please, please listen completely to all the negative points before you make your final decision. Number one, the most important thing placements and the scenario in this college is actually very weak very few good companies actually come and those who does provides very less packages even DCSC colleges like Delhi College of Arts and Commerce gets Microsoft or Amazon some years but I don't know what's the problem with placement sell here they do not get a very good companies or do not even have a MNC in their list and that is something I found to be very disappointing. At the same time, I have talked with some of the notable alumni of this college who have secured very good placements after graduation and their experiences with these companies have not been really good. They have left this company within the first two or three years, which suggests that they are extremely unhappy. So in those terms, I won't say that the placements of this college truly are great or reflects the ranking that this college actually stands on. The second disadvantage is the low quality of internships that are actually provided. 
Now when I looked at those companies, I was really impressed by the number that they were showing that this many companies have came. But then when I actually looked at those companies, I personally worked with a lot of them in my initial days and my experience has not been very good. Plus, you can just, I won't name the companies, you can just look at them from the brochure. And the thing is, either they do not pay at all, or even if they pay, they do not pay very much. The third disadvantage here is that the alumni network of this college is very weak. To be honest, except for Rajkumar Rao, you won't find anyone who is doing something incredible in their fields. And this is mostly because this college is still coming up. So it will take some years for it to build a strong alumni network. And the fourth disadvantage that I am going to share with you now is even bigger. To be honest, this college is forcibly pulling on the strings to have a strong academic calendar and have a strict discipline. Now at a time when the students will be given the freedom to go out there and explore things, this college is forcibly inducing strong academic standards. By that I mean attendance. Everyone has to attend classes. Everyone has to maintain a strict attendance schedule. Everyone has to have a certain kind of performance. So all this actually creates pressure and the student cannot go out there and explore things for themselves. This college mainly believes in making sure that you stay in the college and after you graduate, they will give you all the freedom. Okay, go out there and explore. And by that time, what will you explore? A lot of things that you have learned in college will already have been changed. So the college I found didn't have a proper understanding of this measure and they were continuously trying to have a strict schedule along the class line. The fifth disadvantage here is the quality of things that this college actually provides. The best example of this is actually the seminars or the webinars that this college is actually conducting nowadays. For example, not a single notable person is coming in. They are just calling someone from some place and he's giving a talk and that actually is leading to no results at all. What I have seen is this college is really focused on playing the number game instead of playing the quality game which is more important in the long term. It is gaining a lot of awards for the way it is conducting seminars, awards, management but in, in terms of quality it is not able to produce any results out of that. It is just like you are playing to win and you are not playing to actually provide quality or add value to someone and it doesn't work. But having said all this. This college currently has grown from nowhere to one of the best colleges of this country within a span of six years and that is extraordinary and if you wait for five years maybe it will become the number one Delhi University college as well. The way it is growing if it continues to grow in that level NIRF will rank this college number one within five years from now. Right now this college is actually at a very delicate position. It can turn in your favor or it can even turn against you. And if it turns in your favor, you have a great gain to gain from it because if it continues to grow, you will have a great brand value and a great market value to count upon. You will be taken for granted. But then if it doesn't and this college remains stagnant to where it is, which is very unlikely, then it might not turn out to be that good. It will still be a great South Campus college experience. So it's like a risk that you're taking and it's a good risk because most probably it will continue to grow. And if it does, there is no stopping you and your career at all. But the way it is functioning right now might not be very suitable for you. With that said, I will see you guys tomorrow with a very detailed video on cutoffs. And after this, you won't have any problem in understanding what kind of college will you get with your marks. And you will be completely free. You will be able to understand how the cutoffs are set and you won't need anyone to explain it to you after this.